thank you so much for joining me here on Spirit Speaks Live. My name is Heidi Corona, and I am so excited that you are tuning in with me today. For those of you who don't know me, I'm an intuitive life coach and a spiritual teacher. My website is www.spiritspeaks.org. And I do a lot of things on Facebook as well. My Facebook page is www.facebook.com slash Spirit Speaks and the number is 11. So slash Spirit Speaks 11. Don't miss out. There'll be an after party after the show. But today I'm actually going to be pulling uh, pick a piles. I would like for you guys to decide which pile you're going to be going with. I have already, um, I have the piles, the foundation made. I have three piles. I'll explain to you. Just one moment. Let me sip my water. Now, each of these three piles has one card from The Secret Language of Life by uh, J Denise Jarvie, has one card from The Mystical Shaman Oracle, and also has one card from Wisdom of the House of Night Oracle. So I just pulled them at random, put them together. There's three piles. And then I will be pulling some supporting tarot just from the Everyday Witch Tarot. And I will pull those on the spot for the pile. And I will read them in the order of one, two, and three. But just so you have a basis, pile number one, I put uh, right here a rose quartz. A very pretty piece of raw rose quartz is right here associated with pile number one. So just take a moment to settle in, take a couple deep breaths, and ask your higher guidance, which pile is for you today? Which pile is for you? So pile one has a rose quartz, a pink rose quartz. Oh, pile two has a smoky quartz. This one's on a stand if you're viewing this uh, live online streaming. But a smoky quartz is on pile two. So check in with your higher guidance. Is this your pile? Pile two with a smoky quartz. Or pile three with the fluorite. This is a double pointed fluorite wand for those of you who are viewing this. It is green and purple. It's very pretty. There's a little bit of white also. Green and purple. <laughs> So that was pile three, the fluorite. So just take a moment and decide if you would like to go with pile one, pile two, or pile three. And I want you to know that I am aligned with love and light and God. And I've asked my higher self and my guidance team to step into all of these readings so that I may interpret these messages of the greatest and highest good for each of you that is tapping in. And I want you guys to know that this is a timeless pick a pile reading, whether you're tuning in live or you're watching us on replay, you still have a message to hear here today. So check in with your inner guidance, pick your pile, and I'm going to get ready to dive right in to pile number one the rose quartz. Now, rose quartz is a great stone for heart healing. It's a great stone for love activation. It's a great calming stone, family stone. If you have a lot of family drama going on, it's a really good stone to kind of keep in your pocket, maybe give to somebody who's a little grouchy, right? To enhance the love that's in their field, okay? So rose quartz is the one associated with this first reading for pile number one. Now, pile number one, the first card that you got from the Secret Language of Light is number eight, Meditation. Ooh, what a beautiful card. This card has all kinds of colors on it. There's somebody sitting in this full lotus position with their hands above their head, totally meditating, totally just professional and whatnot, and, and they're just lit up from behind. They're just lit up from behind, and they're accessing this beautiful heart above them that is also just lit up. And I want to say to these people who picked pile one, I know this looks all fancy schmancy meditation. It must be so perfect. You must be able to connect that way. I want you to know that meditation has no restrictions. There's not just one single way to do it. And you might even be thinking right now, like, oh my God, meditation's boring. Or, oh my gosh, I don't know how to do that. I, I can't meditate, Heidi. It's hard. My brain keeps going, whatever you're thinking. There are other ways to meditate. There are so many different ways to meditate, and you have to find the one that works for you, okay? The one that works for you. Now, meditation 
It's really about pulling into yourself and identifying with your own energy, really tuning into what you need, what you need as a person, as a body, your body, mind, and spirit, all of these things. What do you need? Pull inside, take care of these things, connect with spirit. Lean on your, the angels that you pray to. Know that they are hearing your prayers. That is also meditation. Prayer is a form of meditation. You're just simply sending those prayers instead of receiving that answer back that you're hoping to receive. Now, those of you who have been praying, I'm hearing it right now, it's time to listen to the messages of spirit. And maybe you're already hearing them. Maybe you're already hearing those messages. Your second card here is the blade. The blade. And this one is from the Mystical Shaman Oracle deck. Now, the card number on this is six. Okay. Now, I want to point out that the card number on this meditation is eight. Now, eight, if you follow numerology, is the number of manifestation, making things happen. Now, I can't make you meditate. But you have to choose to meditate if you want the benefits of meditation. So manifesting that new meditation practice, that regular connection with spirit, and expecting to hear these answers back. Now the blade, the card number, like I said, on this one is six. And six is the number of love. The blade has two messages. So for those of you who are tuning into pile one, you'll know which message resonates more with you. It might be both. You might even feel like more than one pile. You have a message in more than one pile. That's okay, guys. You just might. You just might. And sometimes I just want to say it's cool to listen to the other ones that you didn't choose and see how they maybe didn't resonate with you because spirit works in such beautiful ways just like that. Now the blade, the number six, is the number of love and the blade can be used in a loving way to connect with the divine to see the truth of the heart of the matter and 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 the blade can be used to cut away ties for things that no longer serve you serve you any anymore okay this pick a pile for number one is really, really leaning towards pulling in and finding out what you need and cutting away the things that don't necessarily serve you any longer. The other message on this is being careful about how you're treating others because sometimes we can speak and our tongue is like a knife, like a blade. And we hurt people. We hurt people that we love, even if we don't intend to, right? So with these cards, spirit is asking you to refrain from those things. Don't be that quick speaker. Don't be that quick thinker. Take a moment to pause and step into the next phase with love. Do I need to say this? Is this helpful or harmful? Is that the way I intend it to be? To be? The blade, okay? That's the other card. Now. The third card that you got is number 22. Now, 22 is a master number, okay? And I want to give you that. 22 is a master number. Co-creating with spirit. Co-creating with spirit. I need to give you this. And trusting that spirit's going to catch you, okay? 22 also boils down to four, which is a solid foundation. Creating something stable, okay? And the card here is letting go. Letting go. And it is blue. It's a lot of blue. Now, blue <laughs> makes me think of throat chakra, guys. Throat chakra, speaking your truths. If you're not okay with something, saying you're not okay with it any longer. Not just stomaching it and keep going because it keeps your energetic field sick. Now, in this blue card, it shows an uprisen hand. And she's opening her hand to let go. But what she's releasing is beautiful butterflies. She is letting go in the most graceful way possible, not cutting like a blade, okay? She's letting go and allowing whatever she's letting go of to fly free and transform and live and become whatever beautiful thing they want to be. 
Because sometimes when we grasp something so tightly in our palms, we're preventing it from flourishing. We're smothering it. We're preventing it from growing. Okay, and we love these people, right? People, situations, things. You will know this where this resonates. Pile one. So let's get some tarot on this just to support the pile one. And I thank you guys so much for tuning in with me. I hope you check out the after party at facebook.com slash spirit speaks. The number is one one. I will be there. Now, the card that came out here is Page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. Now, Pentacles is all about 3D life, work, money. The page is about maybe starting a new endeavor. So those who are jumping in with this pile, I'm feeling like maybe you're the new person at work. And you can't really say all the things that you want to say. <laughs> and you kind of have to suck it up and, and, and not get, um, not really put your opinions in, okay? It could be work, it could be home, take it where it resonates. But I'm feeling like you're the newer person and you don't feel like your voice completely is heard. <sighs> so the message on this is really releasing the expectations of what you think these other people think of you. And making sure that the things that you voice, you are doing so in a professional manner, in a very graceful manner. And this other one here, oh man, if for, if for anyone else, file one, this is another indication, the page of swords. Now the page of swords is about a new idea, okay? Again, a new quick, fast idea. I want you to think about this. Okay, are you considering doing something? Are you considering a new business venture, a new job? Are you considering some kind of crazy idea that doesn't seem so crazy to you because it ignites you, makes you feel excited inside? Are you considering something? Maybe you haven't even told anyone yet. Maybe you're afraid of what people will think. So let go of those expectations. Let go of caring what people think about this new idea that you want to act on because now is the time to act on it. Spirit is speaking to you. That's why you feel drawn in that direction. Is there any final guidance? Yep, here it is. Oh, all right. Final guidance for pile one. Now this card is Major Arcana card, number 15, the devil. And if you could see this, if you're viewing this and you can see this, there is a very creepy bearded man in a devil suit. And he's trying to lure these sweet little children with ice cream and candy and whatever else he thinks is going to get him in the club. Now, pile one. Notice. Notice the people that are around you. Notice the way that they act, the way that they talk, the way that they think, okay? The way that you're seeing them live their day in their life. Do you really want to be in that club? I just need to say that. This devil card here says maybe people don't have exactly pure motives. Maybe people aren't completely on the up and up. Maybe people just aren't exactly nice, okay? That could really just be it. These people are not very nice and I don't want to be friends with them anymore. I don't want to hang out with them anymore. That's okay because guess what? This page of swords stands on his own with this amazing idea that he has. He's waving this sword in the air. The page of pentacles is ready to go anywhere they want to go. There's signs here going this way or that way. They're flipping a coin because no matter where you go, you will end up successful as long as you follow your intuition and recognize this kind of devil energy going on. That, that energy that just makes you feel funny inside, guys. That energy that just makes you feel funny inside. That means I don't resonate with that situation. I don't resonate with that person. This is no longer healthy for me. So why do I continue to subject, subject myself to this? You don't have to. You have a choice. So I'm going to go ahead and disconnect from pile one, disconnect from pile one. Thank you. Thank you for letting me read for you. And I'm going to dive in to pile two. Let me sip my water. All right. So pile two. <clears throat> this is so funny. Pile two. This is a smoky quartz. 
beautiful smoky quartz. It's on a little stand here, if you can see this, but smoky quartz, this is a raw piece. Smoky quartz is kind of gray, kind of black, kind of white. You can kind of see through it. It's one of the grounding stones. Grounding stones, meaning that these kinds of stones really help to absorb negative uh, energy that may be present in our homes, in our, in our, just in our fields. You could wear smoky quartz jewelry just to help absorb and deflect any energy that you necessarily don't want floating in your system. This is really helpful for when you're going through times that seem rough, okay? When you're dealing with drama that comes from the outside, maybe you turn it inward. Smoky quartz is great for filtering those kinds of negative thought patterns, negative emotional cycles, smoky quartz. So let's dive into your reading. Your first card from the Secret Language of Light is card number 30, which boils down to three. Three, the catalyst for change. Making big changes. Three, there is only light is the card. And it shows someone in the meditation position. And it is so lit up that you can only see the light of the heart chakra connecting right up with the divine. There is only light and all around it, I see all this beautiful dark blue, indigo blue. And this tells me that this feels like a third eye journey. There is only light connecting with the divine in your mind. What is this regarding? This is really about looking on the bright side and seeing things in a positive way. And I want to give this to some people who are resonating with pile two, who chose pile two. Uh, this is about. Just a little bit of, if you've heard the term shadow work to be unpacked, um, <clears throat> this is stuff that maybe we had dealt with as kids, okay? Say I got, you know, I stood up for the prom or whatever this was and it bothered me all these years and I've always had a little niggle inside about it, right? These are the things that we as adults now, we can look back on and say, you know what? Why was I stood up? What all happened? I'm giving compassion to the person. I know it wasn't intentional, or even if it was, I send love. No matter what it was, if they could do that to me, I send love that they were already hurting in such a way, okay? This is like shadow work. This card is inviting you. There is only like to look back on some of the past things that you may be ready to let go of and see the light of the situation. Look at it in a new light now that you're no longer so wounded. Okay, and give compassion to all involved and send love to all involved and ask the angels to uplift all involved so that you can release it from your field and move forward. These are energetic patterns you don't want to take forward with you. There is only light really, really bringing that light in and releasing those old hurts that you are just so ready to let go of now because you're in such a better space in your life. Okay, the next card from the Mystical Shaman Oracle is card number 60, the Vision Quest. Ooh, card number 60, again, love. This one reminds me of self-love here. Again, with that quest, with that shadow work, with that kind of looking at things uh, from the past that you are ready to release. Past or present, I just need to give you guys this. If you know that you're in a cycle right now that really stinks and is not healthy for you, and you picked pile two, that is your sign. That is your sign from spirit to, to make a healthy choice in your life for you. To make a healthy choice in your life for you. To be safe, healthy, happy. Everyone deserves to be happy. Everyone deserves to be happy. Now this vision quest here. This really speaks to me of self-love. There's a girl on this card and she's got her arms just flung open and she's standing right in front of this giant full moon and she just looks so carefree and happy and she has, I don't know, tattoos and what other markings. She's just something special and wild and she's digging really deep into her intuition and seeing how powerful she is. I want to tell you guys, pile two, how powerful, how powerful you are. These experiences that you're bringing light into, you survived them. Maybe they weren't life or death, but I bet some heartbreak was involved. 
I bet some really strong feelings were incurred, right? You made it through. You made it through that. You made it through so much more. You are so strong and powerful now. The third card you got is 34. Card 34, which boils down to seven. Spiritual truth. Ooh, the spiritual truth of the matter. The card is trapped. Rephaim trapped. And there is a crow who is trapped in a birdcage. <sighs> Do you feel trapped by your past experiences? Do you feel unworthy? Do you feel doomed to stay with this person because you've always been with this person and it's always been this way, no matter how toxic it is for you now that you are growing spiritually? If this resonates with you, Pile 2, you are not trapped. No one is trapped. We all have free will and choices. You are not trapped. Take a look at the past bring light into the situation and do not be fooled that just because something happened in the past, that, that is who you are now and forever, because it is not. That was in the past. That is in the past. It's over and done with. And you are who you choose to be right now today. What is the guidance for child two? Oh, got a couple of them. Hold on. All right. <clears throat> Six of cups. Six of Cups is about generosity, kindness. This is who you are. This is who you are. You're not trapped. You're not restricted. This person gives freely and enjoys it. There's a childlike innocence about the Six of Cups. Remember that time. 20 years ago, 10 years ago, five years ago, two months ago, whenever it was when you felt innocent and free before whatever those things were that happened, you can get that again. You're not trapped. The other card you got is the page of cups. Beginning to love yourself. Love yourself like a child. Baby you. Baby yourself. Start like a clear slate. A fresh, clean slate. I'm seeing this easel here. He's just starting. Start brand new and paint your portrait the way you want it to be. Don't accept someone else's portrait of you. And I need to give you this when it fell on the ground. This is the Ten of Pentacles. It, it fell on the ground. And I want you to know that the Ten of Pentacles is generally a very good card. It's about a happy home and a happy family. And some of you guys might really have that. But... For those of you who are resonating with this message here, I want you to know this Ten of Pentacles may not look normal, right? A Ten of Pentacles house from the outside might look like the Leave It to Beaver family, and it might be a lot of dark secrets behind closed doors. My heart goes out to you. You're not trapped. Just because things look good from the outside doesn't mean they don't still hurt and they aren't still toxic on the inside. You're not trapped and your Ten of Pentacles might look different than the traditional Ten of Pentacles. Mom, dad, happy family, pets, da, da, da. Your Ten of Pentacles might be you living in an RV, driving from town to town, doing whatever in the heck is your passion with no freedom limits or restrictions. Believe in yourself. You're not trapped. I love you, Pile 2, and I'm going to disconnect. I know I've got five minutes left. Pile 3, we're going to knock your socks off real quick. You have the fluorite wand, mm. green and purple. This reminds me of heart chakra and crown chakra and the connection between the two. Let me mix these cards back in. <clears throat> oh, man. The first card you got from the secret language of light is the card number 14, alignment. Mm. If you could see this gorgeous card, there is like this beautiful sword. There is a beautiful sword and it is all lit up and there's angel wings and a heart and the, and the card is alignment. And I see here this cross. There's like a crossroads. You are at a point in your life where you've done some work on yourself, pile three. Pile three. You were patient. You waited through all these other readings and you said, oh no, the clock is ticking, but I want my reading. Pile three. That indicates 
your stance in life right now. You have so much love to give and so much love in your heart. And you are so lit up with joy. And the energies going on right now are so special and different that spirit is inviting you to connect in a whole new way. You are in alignment to make miracles happen in your life. The other card that came through for you from the Mystical Shaman Oracle is card number one, the Ancient Ones. And if you could see this beautiful card, there is like an old lady grandmother and she's got like this feather headdress and these really cool feathery robes. And this is the generations of our ancestors that are looking over us and wanting to work with you guys, Pile 3. They are inviting you to step into your role as a medium mm -mm, with confidence. This card you got here is confidence. Confidence and the supporting card that you will get. Step into this, you're at a crossroads, you know it. Your supporting card is the King of Wands. Decide to take a step, decide where you wanna go with this tile three. And no matter where you go, jump to facebook.com slash spiritspeaks11 and I'm doing more readings. I'm doing more readings for you guys tonight. I send you so much love and blessings. And if you would like to connect with me on a deeper level, you can check out my website at spiritspeaks.org. Bye, guys.